Hello and welcome to the Migraine Diaries, a week by week account of the making of my game Skatoma and the sole reason the world is all out of kilter at the moment. So you better hope I finish it soon. Now this will be a relatively short and simple one, uh, you know, like an update rather than a seven minute treatise on audio like last week. Uh, the freelance has slackened off a little bit and I've gone part time with a regular job, so I'll be tightening my belt a little, uh, metaphorically, because uh, it's impossible in real life. So there'll be no quail's eggs pate at lunch served by a paid by the hour butler. Such is life. So I've finally been getting back to doing some scotoma work. Um, I've lately been doing some visualization work um, for the entities you encounter in the game. Now I'm no Matt Hatton or Dane Hallett where drafting is concerned, but it is good to do. And on a side note, uh, whatever you think of Alien Covenant, uh, check out the work they did for that because it's ridiculous. As you can see, body horror is the prescription here, and I've been toying with designs reminiscent of The Thing, uh, aspects of Hellraiser and Silent Hill, uh, a dash of Cronenberg here and there, and even a little bit of Uzumaki. Uh, however, my original thoughts about bodily distortions that aren't necessarily gore-related or disease-ridden remain intact. Um, so sometimes it can help to work with the intention of discovering the directions you're less interested in going in. The reason I've been doing this is because before I get a proper artist in, it'll help to have some direction based upon specific ideas and I've been thinking a lot about how to communicate my intentions to them. Uh, one widely used technique I have made use of is called the mood board, which for those of you who don't know, uh, is usually a cluster of different images brought together that convey information about the intended style and feel of a project. Um, now, while I imagine it's mostly used by non-artists, but having been a fairly mediocre artist myself, um, it has been useful to get my own ideas straight and is from now on going to be used as a general focus point for the whole design. Uh, here it is. Pretty unpleasant, isn't it? And that's entirely by design. I've also been doing more flowchart stuff, this time for the recall inventory system. And I'm also walking towards a full puzzle example flowchart for the benefit of the programmer, um, who will then get back on it. And that's about it. Uh, short and not necessarily sweet, which incidentally is also the reason my last relationship ended. See you next time.